Hello, today we're going to talk about Brazil. To start things off, we'll talk about Brazil's oil production as a whole. So this graph comes from BP Statistical Review of World Energy, showing the whole of South and Central America's liquid hydrocarbon production. Brazil is the orange on top. You can see that it's been quite a uh, a small producer from 1965 through to around 1980s where since then it's become more significant and until recently it is now actually the largest producer of liquid hydrocarbons in this region and when we take out the other countries and just look at Brazil's data the ramp up in production becomes even more clear. Pre-salt production has just been since 2008. Um, but it really has been a stark increase in Brazil's liquid hydrocarbon production since really 1980s, but particularly since 1997-ish. Data taken now from AMP showing the split of Brazil's production in the last 20 years. So just that recent ramp up period. You can see that onshore has been very insignificant really, making up just 3% of liquid hydrocarbon production now. Post salt offshore has actually been declining over the last 10 years and it is this pre-salt play that has opened up and started producing in the last 13 years and now makes up just under 70% of Brazil's total liquid hydrocarbon production. Highly productive. So, we've just moved to our maps tab to show where we're talking. Brazil, obviously in South America. Uh, the northern basins are just exploration basins, very little production, tiny bit from this area. Sierra basins, and then we have the seal basins, Sujipi Alagoras. Um, but the main productivity has been Santos and Campos basins. Campos was the first uh, post salt offshore, it's the most mature basin. Um, but the Santos Basin is where these massive pre-salt discoveries have been. And it's here that people are getting excited about and an awful lot of investment is being made. You see there are some gas pipelines, um, but the majority of production comes through FPSOs and tankers. Looking at the pre-salt play, it's due to restricted basins during the breakup of the Atlantic, and we can see large carbonate buildups occurring during this time. We're talking lower Cretaceous, early Aptian, and the salt that gets deposited on top of these carbonate buildups is of a later Aptian age and forms a super seal over the region. It's these carbonate buildups that uh, form the highly productive reservoirs of the pre salt play. So we'll just look at some case uh, examples now. So we'll filter the data table to show Santos Basin and pre salt. Now we're looking at all the fields and discoveries that fit the that criteria, scroll down to 2P, which is the original discovery that kicked things off, and we'll just um, zoom in and take a look around this asset tab. So CGG interpreted seismic section, you can see the thick evaporites in pink here, and below them in this light blue are the post rift sag section, these are the Aptian Carbonates basically is another uh, interpreted seismic line, this time Petrobras, again showing very thick 
uh, Aptine Evaporites in pink, and then just below them in the lilac color are Aptine Carbonates, which are the prolific uh, reservoir. Um, uh, sort of carbonate shelf uh, reservoir. Reservoir depth, we're talking um, 4,000 to 5,000 meters. Salt thickness is around 2,000 meters. We'll move on to another example now. We'll go up to another big one. I'm looking for Buzzius, formerly known as Franco. This is also in the carbonate play as is all the pre-salt. See some fascist information. Various write-ups. Uh, information on the DSTs performed. There's currently four uh, Buzzius FPSOs, but here's plans for Petrobras to have another four put on the field. Mero is one of the fields currently not producing from the pre-salt, but it's planned to have four FPSOs added for 2025. So thinking back to those uh, graphs that we saw earlier on, Brazil's production from the pre-salt is set to increase <laughs> further. That was a very quick overview and just a snapshot of some of the material you can find in Trove uh, to answer your analog questions or uh, just to remind yourself on what the reservoir or trap or what a certain field looks like and its infrastructure, etc. You can find that all within Trove. Thank you very much.